Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Utama Cross Gacha video. With me, I am finally back home afterwards, so let's do this. I am very tired, so I want to breeze through this as quickly as possible. Anyway, guys, uh, as always, when you see a brand new banner, that usually means uh, there is a brand new gacha. But first of all, let's talk about the new, um, I would say, play style added into the game. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the challenge that we are currently facing for this current event. Um, the whole Japanese text here basically means that whichever song you play, um, basically your life will deplete slowly throughout the life itself. So make use of any of your active skills that, re uh, that replenish HP or recover HP uh, and clear those missions. So yeah. Okay, aside from this, you probably noticed there's this brand new tab here. Now, in the past, the songs for the event will be under this um, event tab here, this event tab here. So, you will usually get like a whole bunch of songs, um, you know, um, with the main song and of course maybe a sub song that has like the bonus 10% uh, uh, right there at the top here as you can see um, so yeah so this time around they have changed things up a bit as you can see the last three songs here are the so the daily event songs that give you the um, episode plate resources that you need to um, unlock your episode plates so instead of having those um, specific event songs that you need to play to clear like um, the event missions and all that stuff like you need to play a particular song from this event uh, how many times and so on and so forth so yeah things have changed up a bit so right now um, with all these things changed as you can see within this brand new tab they have indicated uh, song types um, with date periods so Basically, what is going to happen each day, each day, you can play any song within this particular typing that is within the date itself, okay? And that's and those elemental songs or color or star type, heart, love type, heart type, or life type, blue, whichever whichever way you want to call it by, um, it's probably easiest if you just call it by color. So yellow, pink, blue. Um, so as long as you pick any song, it doesn't have to be under the event. It can be under the normal tabs. As you can see, they all have um, the bonus song 10% up right now. Um, because right now, as of today, um, we are under the pink element. So yeah. Okay, so pink element our songs all have... Um, the 10% song boost. So what happens when it comes to songs with multicolored? Um, basically, songs with multicolored like this one do not count at all. They only want specific colored songs. So guys, I have created um, kind of a summary of all the songs that is probably the easiest to play under extreme because they you you definitely want to be able to clear an extreme song for these event missions um, to get the most amount of points possible and of course the most amount of medals um, with the least amount of um, I guess plays possible and of course the least amount of energy refreshes that you need to do within this event itself if you guys aren't familiar with this particular event, this event is harsh on the stamina recharging. So yes, you if you want to play smartly, um, you definitely want to um, be prepared to play extreme or the worst case scenario, very hard if you're the kind of person who cannot play extreme. So I have created these following images accordingly to their color typing these are the songs that you want to try and tackle extreme because they are very very easy to handle under extreme with difficulty level ranging from 22 to 21 or rather 21 to 22 i do not i try not to choose songs with uh, difficulty level of 23 because usually 
they tend to be a lot more trickier um, with the double notes on the left or the right or maybe they have like a very fast consecutive tapping sequence that kind of stuff so yeah so the main song for the current event um, is also one of the songs that you can probably play but I would not recommend um, playing extreme on it if you're not very good in terms of uh, um, quick responses because this particular song um, has a section where you need to respond pretty quickly under the extreme even though it is set at the level 22 difficulty I would say the actual difficulty for its extreme is probably about 23 um, instead of 22 so yeah that's why at this point in time I still can't full combo this song because there's just certain portions that really push me to my um, gameplay uh, levels <laughs> so yeah um, but there is one thing you need to know um, when it came when it comes to this particular change in the past when the songs were still under the event tab um, you could play any of those songs uh, aside from the daily uh, resources event songs those event songs that belong to the event tab under this event uh, I hope I make sense to you guys um, those songs you can get the exclusive event episode plates from them if you have a team of luck set up um, but right now because those songs are no longer around the only song you can get the episode plate for um, Reina's costume or rather the specific um, costume that you can get from these event plates um, are only now down to this particular song because uh, well if you choose any of the other songs from the other tabs they will give you episode plates that belong to those um, songs originally they are not from the event exclusive selection so guys if you really really want to grind for the costume um, that is currently for the event you definitely have to play the song that is the main uh, main song for this current event uh, okay I'm bad I'm blabbling a bit but I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say uh, so yeah if you really really want to unlock Reina's costume for free without spending any singing stones in the gacha uh, you have to play cosmic movement under the event tab and not the Macross Delta tab as you can see uh, if you play if you play cosmic movement under the Macross Delta tab it will give you episode plates that belong in the normal tab instead of the event tab. Uh, hope I got through to you guys. Alright, so with all that said, that's pretty much it for the brand new update for this current event. Uh, let's dive into the main topic for this video, which is the gacha itself. Alright, so let's take a look at Reina's episode plate and to see whether it's actually worth your singing stones or not. Okay, so first thing first, we come into this special page and you can see that Reina's episode plate has the heart note. Now, if you don't, guys don't know what the heart note is, basically, it, uh, it helps to uh, summon out heart notes. Uh, when you tap on them, basically, they recover your HP. So, in this current event, HP is kind of an essential thing because most of the missions require you to clear um, the songs with a certain amount of HP due to the challenge um, when you play the live itself your HP gradually decreases so it's kind of a bummer uh, that's why this episode play is very essential for this current event um, but in general use I would say this um, special note isn't exactly very useful uh, in general use probably you want to go towards um, the score note which is pretty rare or um, the item note um, because you want to gain resources for unlocking your episode plates and all that stuff but you know in more uh, general use I would say the score note is pretty much where you're going towards um, the rest of them are pretty um, I would say situational because you don't really use them unless it comes to certain 
um, kind of gameplay requirement like um, the current event we're going through. Um, yeah. Alright, so total score 3,226 focusing on soul and of course a well-balanced uh, amount uh, between voice and charm. Center skill, units total and life will increase by 20% up. So 20% is definitely not the best amount that you can probably get from an episode plate but surprisingly enough it is under the S rank because it covers two different stats basically your units total and life. So units total is pretty impressive in that sense because um, if let's say for example your diva um, that you have this on its center position uh, episode plate you boost the entire set of three episode plates that you have on the particular diva so that's pretty fantastic in itself um, boosting life is probably good for missions like this current event where you probably lose HP uh, gradually throughout the, the play or maybe if you have episode plates that have the 100% um, life skill boost uh, and reduces your HP by 20 every second uh, that, is that the skill is activated, that kind of thing. So it's a good combination um, when it comes to pairing up episode plates or maybe to clearing missions. Alright, so take note of the four divas that can be equipped with this episode plate. Active skill at A rank, life recovery of 30%. So we've seen the best percentage for life recovery which is 50%. 30% is not the best. Um, in terms of using this episode plate for um, the current event as well, 30% is not a lot. I would still rather stick with an episode plate that has a 50% healing of capability rather than this one. So Reyna's episode plate is starting to look like a uh, not so useful episode plate. Alright, so life skill S rank, score repeat. So this Life skill, when you hear score repeat, basically it means for a song that has a long duration. About a 1 minute and 20 seconds or more. That kind of stuff. Alright, at the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. So it's a pretty mediocre episode, um, life, sorry, uh, mediocre life skill ability with 80% and of course the short duration of 7 seconds. Um, yeah, it's kind of a... I don't know, um, it's a pretty normal episode play, I wouldn't say it's the best of Reyna's, in fact I think it's probably one of the more uh, mid-tier mid episode plays that Reyna has. Um, so guys, with all this said, I would say save your singing stones, do not get this one because well, Reyna's costume can be unlocked free if you work hard at this current event. So um, yeah, with this... This will be the third Valkyrie member with the Blau Bloom costume. Um, yeah, we are still missing um, Mikumo and Makina. So maybe the second half of the event, we might be seeing um, either one of the two um, to obtain their Blau Bloom costume. Or who knows, maybe another diva out there might get another similar looking idol costume that is exclusive to Intime Across. I don't know. So uh, let's see what Dana tosses to us at the end, or rather uh, at the middle of this current event. Uh, I'm going to do one template pool for this episode plate. Uh, it is definitely not the highlight of the, uh, the event, um, but it is good to know that <laughs> Reyna's gacha does have Gamlin's episode plate in it. So for those out there who have not gotten Gamlin's VF17D, um, it is an, a Valkyrie that is exclusive to gacha pools only. There is no other way you can get Gamlin's Valkyrie. Um, pretty much the same as Isamu's uh, YF19. Uh, was it 17? I can't remember the numbers, but yeah. <laughs> so we just recently finished with um, a Cross Plus event, and Isamu's Valkyrie is a gacha exclusive as well, same as uh, Gamlin. 
So if you see any of the episode plays within the uh, gacha banners itself, definitely you might want to try your chance at getting um, points for the Valkyries and all that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, let's do this. I have, I have pretty much all the costume points and Valkyrie points within this gacha banner itself. I don't really want to pull but just for entertainment value, let's do this anyway. <laughs> so one template flew. Um, hopefully, I get something nice. If I get repeats from episode plates like uh, clap clap, I'm I'm pretty happy about it as well. Um, because definitely those plates are pretty useful in events. Definitely want to have them power up. All right, here we go. So one, two, three, for five, we do get five planes, which is not too bad, I suppose. But with the luck of 2019, I don't know. Alright, skipping all the common silver boxes. There we go. Freya is crying, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Alright, so we do get some Gumlin Love, Maki Ray. Okay, we got Thief, Ayate. Red box, we got Mirage. I'm pretty happy with this. So my Mirage plate, plate is starting to go towards the plus 10 and above. So pretty fantastic. So last red box, so no evolution there. Ranka episode plate, I'm also pretty happy with that. Not the best pool. Um, definitely I wasn't expecting a rainbow box, kind of. Um, oh, wait, what? Oh no, so my Mirage plate apparently is only at plus 8 luck, so that's kind of sad, but this is a brand new plate, so I, I think this one gives, yeah, it does give Reyna's Blood Bloom costume points, so it does help me move a step further in unlocking Reyna's costume uh, much sooner, um, so I guess I can work less hard, slightly. <laughs> hey guys, that's pretty much it for the um, current event and of course the Gacha banner for this event hopefully you find all the information useful i will be implementing all the current new info into a how to handle this current event um, main video uh, i know i have not put up a main video for this current event because i was pretty much worried that dina might remove this current event and then um, throw in a brand new event style just like that because at the begin, or rather, the, at the end of 2018, Dana did mention that they were considering a brand new event style uh, for the game itself. So I was pretty worried that if I do a video for this current event, um, it may, might end up redundant within the next one or two months. So it's kind of a waste of effort. So anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you have reached here in this video uh, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Bye!